All right, guys, no fish today, but we did get to do one thing good, which was test the bass hunter. We've had this for about a month and a half now. We just haven't had the time to put it together and get out on the water, but today was the date. We got out there, we got no fish, but we got to have a good run on the bass hunter, which was an awesome thing. We came out to some water that's just near our house. It's inaccessible. We've known about it for a long time, but never been able to fish it. You can't really fish it by land, only by canoe or by bass hunter. Now, the canoes didn't really fancy, fancy us because you got to sit down in them, very low to the water. Then we came across these bass hunters. You can stand up, it's just like our boat. We've got an electric motor on the front. You can stand up on it. Now with two people, it's easy to lift. It's 61 kilos, so when it comes to carrying it around, there's not a problem at all. So it's pretty good when it comes to untouchable water. I can't wait to get it up in the bass country. This is just the redfin country, but it's a start. Also other features on the bass hunter are these swivel seats. Now they're on rail, so you can fit two on. You can slide them back and forward to suit wherever you want. I like to have mine right up the front, so right next to the motor here. Now, it's pretty cool, instead of sitting in that yak and, you, and you're, standard, you're facing forward and you've got to sort of tilt if you have to go that way and twist your back, I'm tipping after a long day of that, you get really sore. In the bass hunter, it's pretty cool. You just swivel around. Look, I hear a buff behind me, a nice bass buffing, I just turn around, bang, whack a car there, easy done. Also, instead of when you get that good fish to the boat, when, when you're in the yak, you're right down to the water, so it'd be pretty hard to be really light on the fish, where on the bass hunter, we can simply stand up, as you do on a normal boat, get your rod tip nice and down and be nice and light on that fish and hopefully not drop that trophy. Also, we've got four drink holders on the boat. We've got two at the back, two at the front and two waterproof containers which you can put your valuables in and also something also cool about them, open them up. And just to check in case you're worried if your pontoon's, if your pontoon's getting any water, the bag comes out, and then you've got direct access to your pontoon. So if you are worried, if you've got some water in there, you'll be able to tell it's not completely sealed. So that's a good thing. Now the construction of the bass hunter, it's a hard, dense plastic. Now, it's super durable. You can hit rocks with it. You can hit snags with it. Not going a million miles an hour, obviously, but you can hit them with it and be super confident that nothing's gonna bust this puppy. I mean, they're super strong. Also, on the transom at the back, it's rated to five horsepower. And we've also got Greg to add on an extra bait base plate at the front for this Minn Kota here. It's super sturdy and we haven't had any problems with it today. It's been really good. Also on our Bass Hunter, we got Greg to put on some oars and some hook poles just for safety. Now the oars just sit clipped into the side here, so they're pretty much out of the way the whole time, which is awesome. And the hook pole is for when you get in that tight, skinny water, and you need to get off the boat and pull it through some either rapids or some really shallow ground or some really nasty ground. You get your hook pole, you attach it to the holes on the front or the back of the boat, and instead of doing your back and dragging it with your hands, you use the hook pole. It makes life a lot more easier. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. If you want more information on these boats, head to www.bassimportgear.com.au or you can head to Facebook. His name's Greg Carson, and he'll tell you all you need to know about the bass hunters. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching Wee Flick Fishing.